Hey guys, I'm Jason Guy from First Choice Services. I was just going to show you, I got a question in the other day, was um, how to take a Hudson float valve and put it in a tank and make it so that you have the, um, so you can not fill it all the way up. What I'm talking about here is we have a 275 gallon tank here and they don't want um, we actually have this one, so it stops right in this area, which is about 100, 125 gallons. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to kind of do it step by step. Um, I'm going to make it so that um, I'm also doing these videos for our employees. So if I got, if they need to make one or something, I'm breaking it down step by step. So with that being said. All right, so the things we're gonna need is, of course, the Hudson float valve. We have um, um, a bulkhead city. I actually get these off of Amazon, and I've actually liked these better than the ones from Tractor Supply. That's usually where I used to get them from, but these are quite a bit thicker, and they seem to be holding up a little bit better. You need two one-inch to slip, one inch to slip and then a piece of one inch pipe and this allows us to make it how far from the top. Um, the other thing you need is we have purple primer. It is plumbing glue and then the plumber's glue. This is me. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is, is kind of what I do is figure out how far you want it down in the tube and then you just cut it. You can take the um, a hacksaw or they make these pipe cutters and they make a real nice clean cut. You gotta put a little pressure on them. Tight, but but there you go. Broke the pipe, but that's alright. That's what I wanted. <laughs> It'll work fine. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is actually I'm gonna glue this side, the non-cut side. You want to take the primer. Don't get this. This stuff is pretty. It'll get all over you. Just get purple hands. But what you're wanting to do is you want to get all the um, the lettering off, the glue off, and this is what cleans the pipe. So you just stick it on there. You can see it's just clean that stuff right off there. Put it all the way around. See if you can get the glue off there. It's not going up that far. Normally, you don't want to try to go through that far. Let that one sit there. And you're going to do the inside of here. Make sure they're good and clean. And put this back on. All right. You're going to let that sit and dry. And then once that's halfway dry, you're going to take your glue. fitting that we put the purple primer in and you're going to shove them together and I usually turn them until they about stop turning and then I kind of hold it there and then it won't turn no more and then I've been told by plumbers that you're supposed to take a rag and you're actually supposed to wipe around the, the thing you did there and that actually helps seals it better. I don't know how true it is but not really a plumber too much so once we got that done that will screw on to the pipe there like so and then glue this one on right here like there now we can put that right there where we're going to put it in our tank so it's going to go through the bulkhead fitting so it's going to Go through the bulkhead fitting, screw it on there, and then that'll mount into into the top of the tank, and then that'll put us wherever we want to be at when we get it cut. I made this one long because I didn't want to cut my pipe and um, yeah. But I know it's kind of basic, and I went through all the steps here, but I just want to show you how to do it. And uh, if you need any help, let me know. 
got asked by a question, and so I'm just letting you see how to do it. Uh, but uh, if you need any marketing help and you need to get jobs and leads, check out our uh, my brother puts on another channel. I'll put the link up above here. It's called it's going to be called the Mafia or the Marketing Mafia. I think it's called Gaiman Media Group now. But if the link changes, I'll change it back. But uh, hope you all have an awesome day. Please subscribe. Please like my page. Give me a thumbs up. This is helpful for you. And uh, hope you have an awesome spring. It's getting ready to be here in some in uh, Cincinnati. But right now they're calling for snow in the middle of April. So hopefully that passes us. Hope you have an awesome day. Thanks. Bye.